Mmm, lamb burger for breakfast. It's about as cold as my refrigerator at home in here, so I think the uh, burger should be okay to eat. Woke up to a bunch of comments that were actually supportive, and I really appreciate that, guys. Um, so, thumbs up. I can't really put my thumbs up, but you get the, you get the point. I'll be meeting up with one awesome inch later today, so we might do a van tour, so I thought, now's probably a good time to clean up my pigsty. So, I'm gonna do that. The thing about having these wood, faux wood floors is that they're uh, really easy to clean. A van floor gets dirty so, so fast. Sweep it off into the corner. This is like my little pantry here. The next time I open the door, I'll clean that out. Put back my final touches for decoration. There's my Home Depot Winnie the Pooh bucket. Look at this, look what happened guys. Do you see what happened here? Had it out like this. Boom, heater right there. Oh man, look what it did. Oh well, still works. Well now, getting everything in order. I hope it looks nice because I have a van tour that I'll probably be doing. I've got a little meetup here with uh, one awesome inch. And I got a new addition here. Since my telco had my T-Mobile account supposed to be uh, unlimited, it is unlimited, but here in Canada they throttle you uh, after so much. So I'm completely throttled, so much so that my GPS is unreliable. I forgot that, or actually I remembered that I had this guy. So I just mounted this, it's my GPS thing up here. So now I've got a big gaggle of wires, rat's nest everywhere, all these wires everywhere. I need to uh, do some cable management, but so that makes it now that I've got a GPS there, the car DVR, the go lock, T3, and then my uh, my phone here, which is, uh, doesn't really matter what it is, does it? I can't pronounce it, it's a Chinese phone. Haiwu Honor 6X. And I've got this. Um, I don't even use the radio, I just keep it as my backup camera, which is great. I, I feel like I have a lot of visibility, so I got all my heads up displays here. Let's go to Burnaby in Vancouver, and we're gonna meet up with uh, one awesome inch. I always get a trip as I'm driving away and I look back into the back, there's like a bed on wheels back there. It's my home and it's moving. And it just kind of gives me like a vertigo seeing it move and then I'm seeing my bed move. Anyway, whatever. It's great. I love this place. Let this bus pass by. You getting vertigo guys? I know I am. So the only problem with this is I uh, they start arguing with each other. They give me different directions. I've got barking different orders at me. I love it when these ladies get along and they're not arguing about directions. Peters, turn right onto East First Avenue. In one quarter mile, turn right on East First Avenue. Take the next turn right on East First Avenue. Okay, stop yelling at me. They're arguing with each other again. One says exit 33, the other says exit 32. Who do I listen to? Oh yeah, I think I've spotted him. I found my twin brother out here on the road. Uh, it's very confusing, there's all these choices. Well, choices are what uh, makes life wonderful. Little variety. First take off the lid. Uh -huh. Plastic, this is the part that, is really, I got about six of these collecting in my van. This goes in mixed See, this is why I have a hard time recycling. This is, this is paper. It's a lot of work. Paper. Now technically, it's got a little bit of food on it, so they might yeah. see. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. We do have a sink. I, did they locate that there just for that so you can wash your... Okay. I, I can't keep up. I need to read the manual on did recycling. The, uh, did you say manual or vanual? Yeah. Did you say manual or vanual? Brothers from another mother. <laughs> are the same mother because you're both white and black. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting headlights like yours. Uh, yeah, they're pretty affordable, and uh, you know they're gonna last a lot longer. They're super, super bright. Yeah. Um, they're like flip. which could be a kind of a detriment, right? If they're yeah. In people's faces, but as long as you yeah. point it towards the ground, you guys can see a full tour on this video, I'm sure. Maybe oh, can we do a tour video? Yes. This is horrible. How do you live in this, man? <laughs> During you know construction. Construction is it's like it's tougher. Yeah. <clears throat> it's tough. yeah. Is it on? Yeah. <laughs> I, I did get that recorded. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to go. Found the gimbal. For some reason, every time I want this to, to use this thing, I lose it. And uh, just spent uh, five minutes looking for it, but I did find it in my backpack. I am here in Canada, and I'm going to be checking out one awesome inches van. That's his. It 
does look like we are twins there, doesn't it? Look at it. We've got the same fan, same van, same panels and everything. And someone's looking at me like I'm crazy. Off here. This man's gonna fly. I got the fan on maximum, man. What is going on back here, Ooh, guys? This is my breath. Hey, can I come in? Yes. Knock, knock. I got uh, you a nice chair in. right there. It's, oh, sweet. Uh, quality, uh, man dweller. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. I'm in the back of a van right now. It's not my van. This van belongs to you. this guy right here. One awesome inch. It's a DIY uh, sunroof. I use Lexan. Um, I was going to use plexiglass. After about 10 years, it'll start to yellow. Yeah. But the Lexan is way stronger. Uh -huh. So the plexiglass could crack. Hey, this is the first time I've seen it. Yeah, I'm like still going to put... I have actually another white shroud thing like this. I got a second one. I'm going to put it over here once the roof is finished. Going to make it all pretty. Yep. Yeah. The roof is all going to be this... Uh, this is 5 16 tongue and groove. Yeah. And then I have... This wall is almost finished. I just got to put a trim piece up here to cover this. And this little slot, I'm going to put LEDs. I made this specifically like this so I can Actually, put a strip of LEDs yeah. up in here. Over here, we have the really high tech electronic section, unfinished. There's a product that I've seen called Magic Tap. Mm -hmm. This is a primo tip for your viewers. It's uh, battery operated, and you just connect it onto your water container. You press a button and yeah. it comes out. What's it called? Magic Tap. They're like they're oh, like two okay. for ten bucks on Amazon. So this is the first time that I've seen the uh, Wave Three in action. Um, it's interesting because you can't even see like the catalytic. No, you can only see it's pitch black. Okay, I did see a little bit of uh, glow. You can see some in the left corner there. Oh. Yeah. Now is that on its lowest or that is on setting? its highest setting? You have to keep it on. That's the highest. Oh, wow. So, oh, so it takes a, a while 3, to blow up that yeah, van. Oh. 3,000 BTU. Does this tank? It only goes down to right here, right? Yeah, it's just in the but then you just did that to elevate it? Yeah, I did it to elevate because I didn't really want it on the floor. And I got storage. I got some uh, summer nice jacket thing. and some other summer oh, clothes in that bottle. Seasonal bottom, storage. Right? Yeah. yeah, you don't access high it that quality. often. Uh, storage situation. The partition here. I, I love this. This you, I can see you put a lot of work into oh, this that for the door. Like that. I had to take part of it off because I'm not done that ceiling yet. Excuse me, folks. Sorry about this. Close for comfort. Um, uh, yeah, so um, is there any light leak? Yes, Are because you right now you can see where the door the, is. Oh, yeah. A little I, bit. I have to finish my the ceiling panels first. Oh, so I see. You can see there's barely enough room to clear it. So okay. I have to work some magic up there. So, low Once game I do, Tetris. I'll put see how that uh, that piece is on the right side of the door. This right here? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put it all the way around so you won't see anything. And then nice. I'm going to insulate it. Well, this is your fourth build, but um, nice. I think your most, most complete that I saw was the high top build. And yeah. you had this partition in here. It was always hard to get an idea of what we were looking at uh, based on your videos because we were just showing a section. Right. Um, so I'm trying to, you know, show everybody what right. it looks like. But um, I really, I really like that, how you've built a door um, and eventually it will be sealed. So there will yeah, be no light be, leak. I'll put weather stripping in there. And then for airflow, there's actually, if you see where the, yeah, I was curious. the door over there, there's a little gap uh, there you go. Right down there. It's like a four inch gap. How are you able to maintain, you've got 12.5 volts in this weather? Yes. Um, what do you attribute that to? I attribute that to my continuous duty solenoid. Which yeah. I just recently installed. Oh, you did you? Because I was getting 12.1, 12.0 uh, from the solar. Because as you can probably notice in the Pacific Northwest, uh, we get a lot of rain. This is a four gauge cable that's going to my nice and solenoid, and that's actually um, just a jumper cable. A car oh, car. is that right? Because and you want them to be flexible. If you get the ones from Home Depot with the yeah. solar core, okay. it's not gonna. Be, it's gonna be more rigid and more apt to be breaking in a bumpy van. Mm -hmm. And it was way cheaper too, because you know you buy jumper cables for. You can go to a junkyard and get them for five bucks. Nice, that's a good tip. I didn't do that, but that's what I should have done. If it's a ten foot cable, and you got double because you got two sides, you, you connect them together. Oh, there you go. And you just yeah, you just uh, how would you connect the two? Well, here's a pro tip for your viewers. Well, pro tip, you know. We're talking about pro. Last time I did this, I actually went to Canadian Tire and I got a blowtorch, and I never used a blowtorch before. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, this is gonna be fun. I had to get solder, and the, the, the wire is very thick. We're talking yeah. four gauge, so you gotta get yeah. serious. Yeah. So I blowtorch this thing, and I put the lugs on the end, and I was like, man, this is serious, because if I touch my finger with that, 
Yeah. Say goodbye to your finger. <laughs> so this time, I used um, 100 amp fuses. Okay. And you just cut the wire on both sides. Oh. You, you take some uh, the plastic off and you stick them into each side of the fuse. You don't have to do any soldering. That's awesome. Yeah. 150 watts. So, okay. Energy. Same energy exact panel. one that, that Scott Canada Camper Van has. Okay. He actually gave me a hard time about that solar panel. Why? And then he gave me a hard time about getting a Max Air like he has and you have. You're just copying him. But who had that Wave 3 first? That's, That's right. right. Yeah. Scott, if you're watching, <laughs> who had it first, baby? <laughs> who had it first? That's right. You know it. Shout out to you, brother. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be a convert pretty soon myself. I, they are pricey. They but are. they're worth it. You need a little trim? Look, see? Why did you get my hair so short? It's not by accident. How much was this? Where did you get it? This is twenty dollars Canadian at Walmart Canada. Oh, Walmart. Okay. I hate to Which... give a plug for Walmart. So, 150 watts is enough uh, to power all your electronic devices and such. Ah, uh, well, 150 watts if in the summer, yes, but okay. not in the winter, like when or in the overcast weather, it's yeah. not enough. Okay. And I, I have a suspicion that even if you had 300 watts, it wouldn't be enough. Yeah, I've got 400 watts, and I'm not keeping up either. Yeah. So I think it's just only so much uh, you're gonna draw in, right? And it's that's why you gotta have a, the best uh, scenario is to have the solar and have the uh, continuous duty solenoid. Yeah. What happened yeah. was I, I had a bed bug problem in my high top van. <laughs> Did you guys hear this story? I got one of those top heaters I put on a propane tank. Yeah, I got the temperature to about 80 Celsius. Holy crap! At the wow. ceiling, but at the at the floor wasn't enough so what happened was the plastic <clears> here <throat> melted the fan melted this melted I had to replace everything oh, this is my gosh. old van there's no bed bugs don't worry in this van I haven't had that was like three vans ago right right um so don't worry <laughs> um, but what happened to that melted marshmallow melted solar charge controller I, I do, I do have this. A... What's your experience with flexible solar panels I mean that right there can you they're elaborate? not very good they're okay but the glass ones are, I would say, about 60 to 70% more efficient. Yeah. In my rough estimate. I, I had them side by side. I measured 40% more efficiency yeah. from the rigids. Yeah. yeah. If you're parking your vehicle, especially your van, do not park it at the outside of a drive through Doesn't matter if it's McDonald's or Wendy's. We're all playing fair, <laughs> equality. You can always keep it on the up and up. <laughs> If you park it, what happened to me was the guy was yeah. digging through his Happy Meal, okay. looking for his Big Mac. Yeah. Had his head in. He was going like probably seven or eight kilometers an hour. <laughs> Hit my oh van. My gosh. And I had the big, huge Ford you were in it? bumper. I was in. I was sleeping. I was oh. in the morning. What was that like? It was not. It was a little bit traumatic, let's say. <laughs> it's not like you're wearing a seatbelt in your bed. No. So I was like, what the hell was that? Stuff was falling off. I was like, bam. I yeah. get out of the van. Eight kilometers an hour, eh? Well, maybe less, maybe five. He, I mean, he was just rolling. He was yeah. looking for his food. Like, I'm talking like less than five wow. miles an hour. Maybe two. two? No, yeah. I got out, and I'm like, my van is in the middle of the freaking road. <laughs> like, luckily oh, it was a dead God. road, but it was right in the middle of the road. And I had wow. to literally get in and drive it off. So then the dude is parked up at the front. He's got like a Honda Civic. The whole front end is munched in. After watching your video, I, I that one, I'm always careful of where I park. I never park on a road. I park in front of somebody yeah. so that if somebody's going to hit yeah, they me, hit you, they're, not gonna they're going to hit the vehicle behind. Average, yeah. well, average. White male is supposed to have three liters of water a day. Okay. Minimum. Regardless of race, but yeah, I was gonna say if you why inject right? race into that? <laughs> 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 That's about race. You, oh, you said yeah. a white male. <laughs> I was kind of gotcha. Funny. It's like you get bored just sitting in the van, so I'll just sit somewhere. I was sitting in the thrift store in the used furniture section, and people watching. I do a lot of people watching. Okay. I have my Spotify on, listen to music, and I just watch people. And I find it fascinating. Cost cool. me nothing. So when I want to brush my teeth. I will just uh, put the spit water, pardon my yeah, and delicacies, are, <laughs> and I'll just dump it into the into the funnel into the soy milk container, and it'll literally take a week before that thing's yeah. full. Oh god, that's gray gross. Water. It's like a cup, you know, Starbucks uh, cups. If you double those up, that's I find nice. it really great to you can put it right or cup it around your mouth, and then just spit right in it, and it's you can yeah. spit as hard as you want, and you won't well, get nastiness. I'll tell you something a little bit gross. What I sometimes do. This is 
this might be for your Patreon subscribers. I just use a microfiber cloth, like one of these. Okay. And I'll just put it on the floor, and I'll double it. Yeah. And I'm just spitting right into it on the floor. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, wow. And then you'll take that to and the laundry. And I'll just hang it up, like, on my milk crate over there. Okay. And by the morning, it's dry. Uh, and but then, with spit in it. Yeah. And okay. And then when, next week when I'm doing laundry, there you go. it goes in the laundry. One awesome inch. Thank you so much. You, uh, I figured out how to wash dishes from one of your videos. Thank you. If I put water in a half a cup and, and just try to rinse up the toothbrush like that, now yeah. I'm wasting half a cup of water. Whereas I can shoot it like five times with a spray bottle. Gotcha. And use like a tablespoon of water. I see. Yeah. And I know it's a small amount, but it all adds up. It does. Right, because you have to dispose of that water as well. now I gotta get rid of that water. Yeah. And, I, and then I spray it with water, because yeah. I don't like to dry, dry brush, whatever you call that. Yeah. And then I brush, and then... Um, Wait, what about the toothpaste? You skip that step. You well, put toothpaste put on the, there. I put okay. the toothpaste on there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I put some water on it with a spray bottle. Yeah. And once I'm done, I will just uh, spray the heck out of the toothbrush head over a microfiber towel. What about spitting? You, so you're brushing? Do you do like There's two no cycles? Involved. There's no, you don't. What about the tooth? You swallow your toothpaste? Yes. I don't think that's healthy, man. <laughs> it says on the thing like, <laughs> if you swallow more than a pea size, call a doctor. <laughs> you know, like. Uh, are you serious? Yes. Look at the well, we the warning. In your mouth. You're ingesting. Yeah, no, you're not supposed to ingest it. It's only amounts. topical in your teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't. How do you feel? You so you're an eco. Can I say eco freak? Like yes, you, you take I it am. to extreme levels. Well, um, what do you feel about responsible levels? Okay, responsible, extremely responsible. I and try to be. I have children, so that's cool. Think of the children. Yeah, know. think about the kids, man. Can I just uh, put a plug for Starbucks in there? Because I yeah. love stealing their napkins. Yes. And that's I use all of their napkins, and I that's how I clean my toothbrush. Yeah. It affects your overall mental health as and well. Right? That is huge. Yeah. 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 You can't just stay moving in around twenty four seven like you can at house. I, I know some people yeah. do. Rolling Earthship posted that he stayed in his van for three days once without leaving. Oh, yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. I would see that. It's easy to do, though. It's so comfy in here. It's your little cove, you know, yeah. and you can easily forget about the world outside. That's and, true. But you will, will become unhappy and unhealthy well, if you don't just, stay you need in to one socialize. Too, yeah, you do. You need... live like... and in fact, yeah. one of the benefits of being in a van is I know that if I lived in an apartment, I would just sit in front of the freaking computer all day. Yeah. This forces me to get out. Yes. And do things. Yeah. I think it's a healthier lifestyle overall, overall if, if life you're responsible easy, yeah. and you get your exercise. I agree. You know what? Right now I have $9,000 in the bank and I have no debts. My credit card balance is zero. How do I do it? Because I live in a van. Right. So I'm being financially responsible. Again, back to the personal responsibility. They have like a $400,000 condo and they got the best of everything. They're in debt up to their neck. Yeah, exactly. And, but and then... And the thing is, they're locked into their job that way. Yes. We have freedom. Yes. If I want to quit my job, yeah. I can walk away and I got money. I got no problem. I don't have to worry about being locked into a crap job. Right. Yeah, so. Do you find that you have more time uh, available to do pursue your own interests? Huge. Yes. yes. Huge so, amounts so. of time. I think the big buddy, the big one, is like six or eight thousand. It's way too much it's for way this Way too much. And the thing is, too, is like what Scott was saying in his video, it's... It's very moist heat. Yeah. Um, right, right. They throw off condensation. Yeah, a lot. A lot. Yeah. I get a second wave three. Okay. And what this does is it's a whole new thing. Dual You're here to wave hear three. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. So now you have 1,600 BTUs. You have 3,000 BTUs. You have 4,600 BTUs. You have 6,000 BTUs. Okay. Two heaters running at once. And you're saying, what else, Mitch? Why do you need two heaters? Yeah, isn't there a high low setting? Well, there will be ice outside, and it's gonna uh, be damn cold out there. Uh -huh. When it's like minus five, it's gonna happen. Yeah. And I want to be warm. I don't want to. I don't want to rough it. I'm not living in a van to rough it. Yeah. I want to be comfortable. Yeah. So that means if I have two heaters. I can have that one on, and then I can have some sub heat. Oh, I Always like this surround on. heaters, you know, yes. wherever you go in the van, you got these little heated ones. spots. Yeah, that's a good idea. Now, I want to thank our friend Explorer Steve for giving me this idea. What? Which I just saw on Scott's video, where you have, he actually told me this when I was at the CamperCon, uh, the first one, when he came, Steve? and I had the high top van, and he goes, oh, you could get a heater, and you could put it on a TV mount. This is what Scott did. Yeah. Exactly what Scott did. The yes. thing is, there's two other things. I don't want a high top. High top has disadvantages. When you have a high top, you're going to be spending more money on gas because yeah. the higher the van, the, the less air resistance or more air 
many yeah. lessons you have. Yes. Uh, How'd you do it? Oh, uh, the skylight, you mean? Yeah. What I did was I used this vinyl, um, you get it at a Home Depot, it's kind of like a heavy duty vinyl molding, but it's only like three quarters of an inch. I use that because it's water permeable. And then, so I made a frame out of that, and I screwed the Lexan into the frame. And then once it was on the van, I used the same idea of how you install a fantastic fan or any roof vent. Then I used the Turnabond tape, which is really heavy duty RV waterproofing tape. And I covered the entire frame of it so that there's no way any water to get in. And then over the Turnabond tape, I put Dicor all over it. Nice. No leaks at all. Because you know how much it rains here. Yeah, definitely. We got the rain, we got the waterproof. Yeah. So you've got that benefit of free natural light yes. in the van. Yeah. It's brilliant. Most unique thing on your van, dude. I like that. Yeah. It's really cool. So one awesome inch and Chuck let me in on a little tip here. I can go to the community rec center, just walk in and get a shower. That is so awesome. And that's a tip, man. I, I totally forgot about that. I've heard about that before. Community rec centers. So check those out. I'm going to go in and get me a free shower. They also have a $1 open swim something between 9 and 10. So I have an option of that too. They even have like a slide. I just don't have a bathing suit. But anyways, dude, I'm really looking forward to this shower. It's been a couple days. <laughs> this way to the free showers. There he goes, off into the night. One awesome inch. Just had really uh, fine dining Indian food. It was like $25 per plate, but we really enjoyed it. Had some great conversations with one awesome inch, Timothy and uh, Chuck. And um, man, check out the Patreon. I'm putting, we recorded everything. We had some deep philosophical questions and touched on political gossip rag. Uh, man, we just talked about everything. So it was a really great conversation. There goes Chuck. And uh, check it out on my Patreon. Um, I'm becoming an e-beggar. Only $1, folks. Get it while it's hot. Too hot for YouTube. All right, talk to you guys later.